What's up guys welcome back and uh, I hope you liked the last two videos that I uploaded Sadly I had to upload this video today or yesterday but my camera the Canon 70D DSLR that I'm using just wouldn't turn on Okay I was recording I was vlogging in the morning around 6am and it just turned off So anyways as you read from the title all of you guys know that I've stopped eating meat for around 3 months So people have been commenting a lot of things 90% of it being positive but there have been comments which said that you know, I'm just following the trend and uh, I just I'm do, just doing it for the views or just so that uh, uh, what uh, I get more recognition in the YouTube community right well if I had to do that I would have done it in a different way I would have done it like someone like a vegan gains who may put the right information out there but the way he talks is not the right way to do do it okay so anyways I'm going to start and I'm going to tell you guys why I stopped eating meat if you guys already don't know now first of all let me tell you the different types of uh, people now there are non vegetarians right who eat all kinds of meat on a daily basis and uh, then there are people who don't eat meat like me but consume eggs and uh, dairy products so I eat, drink milk curd and uh, I take up uh, cottage cheese and I also eat eggs so people like me are called lacto ovo vegetarians then there are people who are who don't eat eggs but consume dairy products they are like found in Indian uh, that, that uh, these are the type of pe types of people you find in India like they don't eat eggs they don't, is, don't eat uh, meat but they consume dairy okay then there are vegans vegans don't consume any kind of animal products and according to the vegan society or whatever you want to call it Vegans are not supposed to even uh, like uh, have anything related to animals. Now, for example, the fur that they use for uh, certain winter clothes and uh, what else, leather bags and all these things. So that also involves uh, animal cruelty, right? So speaking about animal cruelty, that is the reason why I stopped eating meat. So it's a small story, guys. I have a dog, a British bulldog. So I had another dog as well. Uh, her name was Candy. The bulldog's name is Lichi. So the candy, wa candy was golden retriever. So she's not with us anymore, as in she's uh, with our uh, family relative who loves her a lot. So basically, what happened was one day my dog got so injured, Lichi got so injured. So that triggered something in my head, okay. And on the same day, as you all know, guys, I used to go to a gym called Lavi, okay. So for some reason, I had to go to that gym one day and I came back through this way and they are killing chickens the same day. Then I went to my house and I saw my dog like literally injured, like she, she was bleeding and stuff. Not because of some uh, thing, but uh, I don't know, I think some infection and stuff. I was so scared looking at that, that like I was like running around the house and I was like, what the fuck is this? My, I, by the way, I'm staying here now. So here they don't allow dogs. So uh, Lichi stays with my mom. So I was like so pissed off. And uh, sadly when I saw that, it was night. So the doctor, uh, the vets, I mean the veterinary doctor or whatever you want to call him, so he was closed right so we had to like be i was very scared so at that time i saw that i thought for a moment this thought was always in my mind if you have been following this channel you know that i had tried a vegan diet for a week didn't go out well and i'll come to that point later why i didn't jump directly into veganism now animal cruelty okay now before i talk look guys i'm not judging any meat eaters i have been a meat eater if you guys ask me that you can you can challenge me i'm pretty sure 90% of the people who are watching this have not eaten more meat than me. Okay, no matter what, how much you eat, I have eaten a lot of meat. Literally, like, I must have been killing literally one chicken every day. So, even if you want the leg of a chicken, you have to kill the whole chicken, right? So, even if you eat one leg piece or one breast piece, you have to kill the chicken, right? So, that is how it is. And uh, now, uh, what happened is, uh, my friends, uh, Bharat, Gautam, all of them, they eat meat, okay? So, what happened is, initially, when I started avoiding meat it was hard for me like we, we had to go out to a restaurant and that is when I ate fish okay once one for one once that was like I ate it for my post workout after that I decided no more of this and uh, the guilt feel, feeling has gone now and even my friend Bharat told me that the breathing problem that I used to get it has reduced like a lot I don't know why is it because of the diet or whatnot but the breathing problem has reduced a lot Secondly, I'm getting to eat a lot of veggies now, okay, as if you are following me on Snapchat and Instagram, I'm eating veggies on a regular ba regular basis, especially like cauliflower, uh, uh, green peas and uh, uh, cucumber, I used to eat cucumber and uh, 
I started eating spinach as well. Broccoli, I'm not able to find here, so I'm not eating that. And also veggie, uh, also fruits. So bananas on a daily basis. Uh, then I have apple sometimes. Then we have uh, what else? What are the other fruits we have? Not able to remember, but uh, I have had mangoes as well once or twice. So lot of micronutrients in my diet, which I was not getting at that time. Because of that, my skin quality has improved a lot. I don't know if you guys can see, but my skin quality has improved a lot, which is visible, guys. One of the other reason is I am on a cutting diet, so my diet will also all, all, all like naturally have good uh, nutrients. But at the same time, I found out that my skin has improved a lot, and uh, all these things are good. So why did I stop eating meat? The reason is animal cruelty, as simple as that. Due to ethical values. So in the last video, someone commented. Where is our country heading? The lions are eating grass. Okay, something like that. So there is a difference between animals and humans, guys. Humans have evolved better than animals. If you see, humans have a brain. Humans have the ability to think. Okay, humans can decide better than maybe animals. Animals have not yet evolved to such a way that they don't understand that when a lion kills or lion hunts some other animal there. that is what it has been doing forever right but humans maybe at that time they were eating meat but now we are evolved in such a way that we have the ability to think if you sit in the corner of your room think about the beef okay beef or a uh, uh, pig or uh, what else hen or uh, what else do we eat we eat all lamb or whatever or goat just think about it like this okay just think about it in a very simple way if you were to kill that right if you were to kill that how would you feel that is the first thing second thing is if somebody told that they will pray all to the all god and stuff and then kill you so that you'll go to heaven and you won't be uh, going to hell or what not how would you feel if someone takes a knife and slits your neck okay now you might tell this is all food chain we uh what we have to do this to live we don't have to do this to live guys okay we don't have to kill animals to live so uh, one more thing that people tell me is uh, we should believe we should look at humanity first and then uh, we should think about animals if you see the real meaning of humanity it is not only thinking good for humans it is thinking good for everyone okay so don't make all those excuses in i mean in the comments box of this video okay that is all i'm telling i'm not telling don't eat meat that's your choice if you think that you want meat whatever one more thing is that people tell that you can't build a muscle without eating chicken or a fish or a anything it's false you can watch this video made by amandu gul backed by science it's called vegan bodybuilding the truth so he told he talks about everything and uh, the other thing is that uh, this is actually silly so they tell that you are taking all the plants you are killing the plants or whatever so we all know that it's not a valid argument to put forward so these are the few things i wanted to clear so my reason this is my personal like this is a this is purely subjective but actually this should be, this shouldn't be like uh, this this should be followed by all if you look at the right thing but this video is for the people who have been in my place as in who have thought once in uh, maybe they are at the corner of the room and they think sir about this like this animal is being killed or it has been tortured or slaughtered if you still are interested in uh, following a vegetarian based diet and not eat meat then i think this video might help you and i'll tell you a few things that you can do to reach at least 3 months because it's like gym okay once you work out for 3 months then it becomes a habit so for me now i don't even think about eating meat okay literally no if that day when we were eating pizza my friend couldn't complete it but it still had pieces of chicken i am told i'm not eating it as simple as that so there have been occasions where i was like okay let me eat it but then i thought this is not who i am if uh, i have committed to it and i'm going to follow it now you might tell you are still eating eggs eggs are this eggs are that you are still drinking milk uh, animals are being raped to take the milk or what not maybe it's true and that is what i i am trying to improve myself every single day my eventual goal is to be a vegan i don't want to consume any kind of animal products even though i am pretty sure 
all these things that we have inside this room okay let us take everything inside this room there will be things where animals have been what unintentionally being hurt okay so i'm sorry but we can't be perfect but my eventual goal is to cut down eggs and as well as milk products or dairy products so when i started this diet i was consuming around 225 grams of protein and uh, it's valid because i was weighing around 210 pounds i guess so i was consuming just more a, lot, a little bit more than uh, 1 gram of, uh, 1 gram of protein per pound so i had to get a lot of protein so i was literally taking four scoops of whey uh, from my protein which gave me 80 grams of protein i was consuming around 18 to 20 egg white egg, eggs as in uh, six whole eggs and remaining egg whites then i was taking dal then i was taking uh, what else soy i just started so what i did is i started eating soy and reduced the amount of eggs that i ate so for the past week i've been eating only six whole eggs in a day so things are reducing and uh, the last will be the dairy products india is like the hub of what milk like i mean you, you can't see a house where there is no milk okay no matter he is a so called god believer and he doesn't he's not allowed to kill animals but still he drinks milk so that is it, how it is so that might take time so that come now we'll talk about uh, converting from a meat eater a hardcore meat eater which most of the people who are into fitness are to a non meat eater so you need to set your mind straight because this is not like something uh, you are going to do for a while transform and then again start like for example smoking or drinking people will commit to a transformation for 3 months they'll tell i'm not going to drink alcohol once they get transformed they go back okay this is something different this is like you have to commit for a lifestyle this, this is a lifestyle so you have to commit for life so that is what i'm planning to do and uh, my friend is right in front of me it's around uh, 2 o'clock here in the morning but still i wanted to get this message through so so that uh, when i start my new series i don't want any kind of questions why are you not eating why are you eating what and what not so that is it and uh, yeah so what is the plan you should not go directly into veganism if you are a hardcore meat eater it is like uh, the lowest level is vegan as in the last stage is vegan after before that we have the uh, non egg eater or non yeah non egg eater then we have the lacto ovo vegetarian me then we have the hardcore meat eater so first thing you have to eliminate meat completely no matter it's chicken pig i mean pork lamb whatever okay so that is the first thing because that is the worst thing that can be that can happen just go to youtube after you watch this video and search animal cruelty you will find all kinds of videos if you have that thing in your heart then i am pretty sure you will like stop eating no matter what big thing it is i am in this industry guys i am in the fitness industry okay if we, you can't if you couldn't build muscle with a vegetarian diet and why would i do that because to earn my bread i have to make money right to make my to make money i have to have at least a decent physique and if i couldn't build a decent physique without uh, eating meat then why would i do that i'll be in loss i'll be broke right i'll be broke i don't even have a degree so that is what so i don't consider this as a risk this might affect my channel in some way because uh, um, most of the people who are into fitness believe that meat is the only way to get your protein and all the amino acids but for me uh, uh, like getting 10000 less subscribers is fine as long as people who follow me for who i am and the information i give i'm totally fine so yeah that is what it is guys i lost 6 kg as you could see from the thumbnail you could see i have gotten pretty lean you can see a little bit of cuts you can see the wee taper in my back so it's going pretty good and uh, i have started avoiding egg as well so from me being a meat eater stop eating meat okay completely so uh, for the first week it will be your biggest test because i'm pretty sure people around you will be eating meat and uh, they'll be eating all those they'll be telling you they'll try to uh, tell that man come on how many days will you do it people have told me like it's only for few days but i i just didn't tell anything because i knew that i'll do it i have committed it i have committed to it so first week will be your test if you pass the test then 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 learn about being uh, learn about the protein sources and which are the good protein sources for me soy uh paneer even though we don't get the best quality low i mean the low fat paneer here in india still you can uh, 
fit it into, fit it into your macros then I used to consume zero fat milk okay so we get it something called I show it in the grocery video which will be out this week on Saturday I guess so you can wait for that it is a zero fat milk from Amul so that and uh, what is whey protein eggs okay so these are my protein sources and of course dal I love dal guys you can I've just seen a recipe on my channel so these are my sources I used to mix them all so when you mix all different kinds of protein sources you get all the amino acids in the right quantity so there is nothing called incomplete protein source it's like you have all the amino acids but the thing is the quantity of those amino acids or the level of amino acids differ in all the foods so it is true that maybe chicken has the uh, good amino acid profile egg has very good amino acid profile soy also has an amino acid profile but it is not like it doesn't have the same as like maybe an egg so that is how it is so if you learn about it you will get to know and you can apply it into your life so once you are done transitioning from like a, a human into a vampire okay so initially you will have you crave for blood when you like you know in those vampire stories so you can still go back and eat then it's your choice okay so now it's three months for me what is the next plan now i've reduced my eggs i try to reduce my dairy intake as well so the thing is people think that uh, you can't get enough protein now my weight has reduced to 90 so how much would I need? I think I need around 190, 100, 200 grams of protein if you go by the rule of 1 gram of protein per pound. How will I get it? Yes, I will be using whey. I have ordered it, I think it must arrive this week. So I might take 2 to 3 scoops of whey. Then I will have 6 whole eggs, like literally 6 whole eggs. Okay, I get 36 grams of protein. So that becomes 100. Then I will have around 80 grams of soy, which will give me around 40 grams of protein. Then I'll drink a little bit of milk, then I'll eat some curd, then what else? Uh, we have natural source, other protein like peanut butter and all these things which will add up, okay? So I can reach my protein goal. Next thing is, after the cut, I have still 3 more months for my cut. So till then, I will follow whatever I'm doing and uh, uh, then after that, I'll stop eating eggs as well. Because on bulking it becomes a little bit easier, so I'll stop eating eggs as well. So that will continue for maybe 3-4 months. Then once I have completely avoided like uh, meat, eggs, okay, then it's time for me to avoid dairy. So it's not that I like dairy, I don't like drinking like just like milk, okay. I don't like milk, but since it has protein, I'm drinking it. So by January, if everything goes, is everything on, is on schedule, I think by Jan, Feb, uh, Feb I can be a vegan, hopefully. So... <coughs> I am already 8 weeks into my cut, I have lost exactly 6 kgs so I have around 10 kgs to lose if I, when I see my pictures I can like like have an estimate so I won't like get shredded like maybe like Christian Guzman or uh, anyone but I uh, will go to like 10% body fat or 11-12% body fat where I feel like I, I, if I have to do some photo shoot I can just have a mini cut lower my carbs and just go for the photo shoot so that is the mentality I am having now and uh, I'll talk about all my cutting thing and all in the other video but that is it guys animal cruelty I don't want to be like vegan gains and shout because uh, I'm not following what is the right thing okay I, just because I'm not eating animals it doesn't mean that I can just uh, what speak bad about humans okay it doesn't like it doesn't work out like that so if you want to follow some vegan channels you can follow Brian Turner uh, Chelsea lift Chelsea lifts just turn vegan so these are these are the two cha the channels that I follow and I thought if they can do why not why can't I do so yeah I already talked about Brian Turner he's a pretty good guy so that is it guys and I didn't want to offend even one person through this video just as I always tell have an open mind and uh, just follow what your heart says if you believe that killing animals like okay now okay now this is one more thing that I have heard from people. We in India, we have like around lot of billions, I think. What is the population of India? 1.3 billion, right? So we have like around uh, millions of people who are vegetarians, who don't kill, uh, don't eat dead animals, which they indirectly have contributed to the death, okay, death of that animal. So let's assume, uh, now what the problem in India, the biggest problem in India in my opinion is people connect everything to God. Okay, you can believe all your religion and stuff, but whatever happens, people connect it to God. Now, 
they tell that okay i don't want to go into religion but i'm just saying that don't connect everything to god okay if god is there or whoever the almighty or whatever you want to call it if uh, whatever what can i say if god is god god wouldn't want to kill or wouldn't want anyone to die right am i right so why if god is such a great person why would god want uh, want you to kill someone right this is my question that's all so anyways so uh, now they tell that they don't slaughter okay they don't slaughter hens they don't slaughter uh, pigs they just uh, what what do you call it? slit the neck okay now let us apply the same rule and slaughtering as in slaughtering can be of different types they hit the animals they what else uh, they put animals in hot some i've seen many videos like that okay not from india like necessarily but from the us or whatever slaughtering animals right okay now they tell that they just slit the neck my question to you is this now there are two people okay there are two people and there are two murderers okay one murderer raves that person and then kills okay the other person just slits the neck what is the end result okay and the end result is both of them died okay and both of them are murderers just because the person a had put the person through lot when it comes to rape or something and then killed that person doesn't mean that the other person who just slit the neck off had to suffer less if you see the videos where you they slit the neck the animal actually doesn't die for like 15 20 minutes okay so this is these are my points that I, arguments that i wanted to put forward i am pretty sure if you guys have good heart go to the corner of your room just think at the first time when you think you might not accept that okay that is one more thing we humans have the ability not to accept the right thing okay if the if your beliefs are against something that is right it takes time to what uh apply that or understand that and uh, just accept the truth and follow the truth okay or follow what is right so i'm not forcing anyone i never forced anyone to watch my videos whoever watched my videos found it through youtube facebook or people share it with their friends i never uh, asked uh, made asked to people to make groups and all these things promote nothing like that i just whoever watch who, people who are watching me are watching with their own wish okay so i think this video has gone long but uh, i just given my side of the story if you guys have any issue with me uh, not eating meat the results will show guys the results will show and uh, i'm never going to tell that vegans or uh, uh, what vegetarians are better than non vegetarians i won't say that or i will not say that non vegetarians are better than vegetarians or non vegetarians are more manly than vegetarians not at all and uh, people will tell that you are going to lose strength or not lost strength i just squatted 140 kg for 7 reps last week and if you guys have fol been following me few months back i had a bad and uh, as finding it hard i just gained strength and deadlift my uh, two rep max is 185 kg i'm go i'm so soon going to uh, try 200 kg for one rep and uh, bench press i don't do i just do dumbbell press so bench press is out of the way anyways i'm not like something not a competitive power lifter i just want to look good and be strong and uh, the biggest problem with following a vegetarian diet that i found is fart <laughs> it stings badly right bharat farts <laughs> so whenever we eat dal or soy for that matter the farts are like sometimes it's very bad sometimes it just you know right there are two types of farts oh my god did you just fart from mouth okay from mouth okay so that that kind of fart if you heard it then there is a very silent killer right then there is a silent killer so i hope you like this video guys i mean there is nothing to like in this video i just hope that you got something from this video because i have been getting lot of messages especially from my clients that initially when they jo they used to join me they would ask me should i follow a vegetarian diet i i was like okay you can follow but you getting protein might be difficult so they would be like okay i follow non vegetarian diet now that i have started getting protein all of them most of them follow me on my fitness pal my my fitness pal is shreyas rocky one 
So they found out that I am like, okay, so yes, so you are not eating meat, what happened? So I give my reason and they are like, yes, you are right. I thought about it, can you make a video? So that is why I am making this video, so that there will be people who have thought at least once, as I tell, when you sit in the corner of the room, there are many things that you can think about your ex, <laughs> about what you want to do tomorrow, about some movie, or there might be some time when you think about something very uh, sensitive, some sensitive topic. Okay, when I sit in the corner of the room, I, I go deep into many things like uh, uh, the recent terrorist attacks that, that has been happening and all these things. So, for example, if a vegan is a terrorist, he is still a bad person. Okay? That is what I am telling. And uh, if you are good to humans and you kill animals, you decide. That's all I want to tell guys. Hope you all got something from this video. If you need any help with uh, all this uh, uh, vegetarian stuff, you will find it on my channel. I am starting a new series. It will be uploaded on Thursday. Uh, I will not tell the name as of yet. Most of you guys might be knowing if you are from my Snapchat, but uh, I won't be telling it. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I think it's time for me to edit the video, hit the bed, hopefully, and uh, then wake up, go to the gym in the morning.